What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video and welcome to the Florida Keys. just got to Cracker Barrel and we're, we're south of Jacksonville. So today we started our journey down to the Florida Keys and we left Richmond, Virginia at 6 a.m. Drove about 700 miles today. I think 700 miles. We have about 400 miles left tomorrow. So all in all 1100, yep. So we have a little ways to go, another 400 miles, but the majority of the uh, the trip is over with at this point, and we found a really nice Cracker Barrel. We just had dinner. Now we're Cracker Docking in the parking lot because it has a really big parking lot. And now we do call Cracker Barrel ahead of time just to uh, to ask if it's okay if they have overnight camping uh, parking. And usually they're like, yeah, come on in, uh, you know, just have a dinner with us or something like that. And uh, that's pretty much the end of that conversation, so. We haven't found one that told us no yet, so that's that's good. Tomorrow, we will be on our way to the Florida Keys, and uh, yeah, big change of scenery coming up. Good morning. We are on day two of this leg down to the Florida Keys. We had a good night at the Cracker Barrel. Storm came through, but just, uh, that's what you do, right? You just kind of kick the tires. Like, yeah, this. Totally, they're, they're fine. We're just checking everything, the jacks are up. We're ready to roll. Can't wait to get down to the Florida Keys. Although it is quite humid down here, of course. Well, at least right here. The Keys aren't quite as bad, but but we have about 450 miles to do today. And uh, so we're getting an early start, it's about 7.30. And uh, hopefully we'll be there sometime two, three o'clock and we can get set up and enjoy the Keys. been to the Keys a couple of times now and we absolutely love them. However, we have never been to Fiesta Key RV Resort, which is an encore part of the Thousand Trails Network. So we are here this week and we're going to give you a look at what this campground has to offer. All right, today we are going to tell you all about Fiesta Key RV Resort right. down in the Florida Keys. And that is just north of Marathon, so if you're not familiar with the way that the Keys go, um, you, know, you get to Key Largo and then hop keys until you get to Marathon Key, which is the next biggest um, one, and then it keeps going to the yep. Big Pine Key. So this, this RV resort is just north of Marathon, so it's really close to all of the, like 17 minutes from all of the short stores and stuff. Right, so. it's uh, about 50 minutes. Once you hit Key Largo and you make that hook and you start going down the keys, it's about a 50 minute drive from Key Largo. Uh, if you watched one of our previous videos where we stayed at uh, Sunshine RV Resort, uh, it's another 40 minutes to that, so it's kind of right there in between. Yep. So Fiesta Key is a gated campground, mm -hmm. uh, so you don't have to worry about people just coming in and out all throughout the night. Um, they do allow people to come in for a certain activity, which I'll let you, we'll, we'll, mm -hmm. wait, we'll wait for So there, there are people that are in there that aren't camping there, but for the most part it's gated and you have to use a code to get in. Yes. Uh, unless you're going in for that specific thing, we'll tell you what that is in just a moment. There are lots of RV sites there. Yeah, it was pretty um, big. It was a very big park. Um, one of the bigger ones I've seen in the Keys. It's um, the whole island. Yeah, the whole, yeah. they have the whole the island. Whole island. Uh, it's one of our favorite Keys so far. Or yeah, our it was nice. RV park so far on yeah. the Keys. There is really weird camping spots though. Yes, and what she means is like, there's a lot of them that are really big. And then there are some that are like backed up to a shrub, yeah. shrub wall and uh, very little for like a toy hauler, right? You wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to put my back patio down. Right. Then there's these weird ones where we were in the middle 
where when they get busy, they start, they stagger them. And so it'd be like this, like this. Which is like rally like style this, parking. Like this, but they're like, so you're looking at the rear of your neighbor's RV in your yard yes. and they park their car behind yours. Right, because there's no parking because we parked all the way up to the road so that they would have enough space to park their vehicle behind us. Right. And then we park our vehicle beside us, which is like in our in our opening where the payment table would be. And then that would be where their butt of their RV comes in yeah. to the yard. Uh, we were actually there without anybody behind us. Yeah, we, so um, we had a big yard the whole time. So we had a big yard the whole time. However, they would not let us put our rear patio down. We could right. use our side patio, but not our rear patio yeah. while we were there. And they said, as long as you don't go past the little rock, in the yard <laughs> uh, we could use the side patio so our, of course because our butt's not past the little rock the side patio was fine right to come down but we're in the florida keys so ah. it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay. we're happy <laughs> all right and then one of my favorite things to do is watch the sunset mm -hmm. and to do that they actually have a very large cabana um down to the right that uh you can actually go to watch the lookout point there is campsites leading up to it so when they're full so it's like a little weird it's a going, little weird getting into you're it going into people's spaces you feel like but it's actually for the lookout point so right. you're not in their space <laughs> right most of the time we were there there was nobody in those spots a lot of times so yeah. it was really easy to just kind of ride your bike up to it and and then you can walk the little seawall and yeah we did it was that. just really nice we like to walk the seawall at nighttime um and you take a really high flashlight and yes. you can see all the creatures in the in the water and on the rocks like the the lobsters all the lobsters yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, little, turn little, your lights out. Tons of little guppies <laughs> um, that were right. perched up on the um, shallow rocks. So it's pretty neat to see at nighttime. The kids loved it. They had a great time doing that at night as well. Yeah, and, and there's this bridge with a uh, canal that kind of leads to the marina. And that is a deeper portion of it where you can flash, like shine your light from the bridge looking down in it. And yeah. you can see a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, Especially the upside down jellyfish that are like sleeping on the bottom, which is just <laughs> cool. and you know, yeah. weird at the same time. And speaking of that, they have a marina. Yeah, and, um, pretty big marina. Pretty big marina and you go across and park your um, your vehicle with your boat um, trailer. trailer and stuff over on that side. Boat ramp. On the other side of the yep. marina. Um, and then they have the gas on site. Yeah, gas marina. on site for the marina, boat ramp. Uh, they have a little store right there by the marina and you can rent paddle boards too. Yeah, so which we did, not, we did not do. We actually um, didn't paddle there. Yeah, we didn't get to paddle there. We drove to meet friends and paddled in a different location, right. but you can paddle there. We just didn't, the wind was pretty bad on that side um, while yeah. we were there. So we went a little bit farther the other direction so that we could be away from the wind. Yeah, but so pretty nice. It was nice, yeah. So over there by the marina, there's a, uh, a section of it that kind of like veers out and they have uh, picnic tables there too. Yeah. So you can actually have a nice picnic or just, you know, go sit and watch. And by the picnic tables, life. on the other side. Watch under, the boats come by. Yeah, but on the other side of the road, on by the trees, they actually have swinging hammocks and lounge chairs and things like that that you can go and sunbathe with a little bit of shade over you. Right. Because it's under the palm trees. Yep. So it's really, really nice. And they have even more of that over in this like little beach area. And what's so cool about this beach area is that it has a restaurant on site. Now this isn't just like a little cafe, like a campground cafe. It is its own restaurant. So we said people can come into the campground, they do. They come there specifically for the, uh, restaurant. For the restaurant. And they do live music um, a, a few nights a week and um, they have a full bar and the whole restaurant area and it's, it's all open, mind the weather, because if it's going to be windy at the beach, it's going to be windy while you eat. Like, yeah, of it's, course. It's all open. Yep. They do have um, the plastics that they can drop down um, around it if it gets too bad, but they try to keep it up so that it keeps the, the air going and right. the wind. We had a great um, dinner with had, friends there. We actually ate there twice. Yeah, we did. The Mahi Mahi <laughs> Blackhand is so good. Uh, so good. And uh, so, so good, you guys. So, so good. So <laughs> good. Like she said, we ate there twice because we, we enjoyed there, it. Well, we went there once for an adult dinner and then we went back with friends and had the kids and, and everybody and with you, us. You, so. And you're, the area, like you're just look, you're looking at the water the whole time and yeah. it's just this <laughs> turquoise water and it's, uh, there's these rotating platforms that look like beds. 
so you can actually lay down on it and rotate towards the sun yeah. oh. or rotate back towards the ocean. That actually has like a little canopy that comes up to create shade behind you too. And hammocks and cornhole and a hot tub and a pool and all of that's right there by the restaurant, which is really cool. You can tell you liked it, right? Yeah, I was kind of, I'm a fan <laughs> of that one. They also have um, propane on site. We did not get to use it because we didn't need it. We didn't to, need it. Um, but we did drive past it. And then one of his favorite things that he learned to do. Oh yeah, we got to play pickleball. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever played pickleball? If you, if you have, let me know. Uh, you like, when did you start? How long you been playing? Are you an expert? Are you a beginner? I got my butt kicked by Chris, which is some of the folks that we were with. And so Chris, thank you so much for showing me how to play pickleball and not taking it easy on me and uh, whooping my tail. However, before we left, I did win one game, so I'm good. And I bought paddles and I bought indoor balls and I bought outdoor balls. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> I think one of our favorite features there is the dog park. Yes, the dog park. If you haven't heard uh, the uh, oh, yeah. barking in the background, we're, in the bark. we're parked right across the street from the dog park. So, yeah. But this dog park has turf grass. Yeah. So the dogs do not really get cool. muddy when they're out there running around. So I love that. The downside to it is you're there and everybody loves it. So as soon as they see a dog in there, everybody comes over yeah, and wants busy. to play um, with with the doodles, which is fine, except for when I'm working and I can't have time to play. <laughs> it, can, it can get pretty busy uh, at times because it's really the only area where you have grass yeah. for now them to walk have, around. They do have walk stations um, throughout the campground as well with um, the little trash cans with the poop bags and stuff there. So they do have a couple of those throughout the campground, um, but the yard is small and of course you can't let the dogs off leash. So, right. um, so it's just like walking the dogs and letting them do their business. So I will say this one up that that park has over Sunshine is yeah. that it actually has a dog park. Because when we go nice to Sunshine, dog. they have to use the bathroom. There's one little strip of grass for them to yeah, walk on. I mean, and there was there's toys in there for the dogs to play with. There was a water hose in there for you to fill up the water bowl. Or um, wash the turf off the if turf there was a mess. Off. Right outside the dog park, when you come out the gate, is the laundry mat. Yeah. Um, it's small. It's enough. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's, but it's nice on site. And, they have about eight eight washers, mm -hmm. I think, and I think eight or ten dryers. I can't remember the exact amount over there. Nothing um, special. We got the job done. Yeah. And, you know, wash your clothes, so we're good with that. And we didn't have to drive anywhere to do it because, you know, it takes a little while to get anywhere in the Keys. And there's very limited certain things. Like, right. You, you have to drive to get to places like Home Depot. Right. There is not a Walmart down in the Keys. No Walmart. Um, um, I think there's a Lowe's to. in Key West. There is. All right, so would you go back to this park? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm planning on going back next year. We actually booked one week uh, this, this go around because we didn't know what it was like. We had heard some negative things about it. We heard some good things about it. We just wanted to check it out. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to spend a month in the Keys so that Michaela could uh, volunteer at the Dolphin Research Center. Yes. So we did that while we were here too. Right, so <laughs> we, we only got three, we can only do three weeks at, in one park because they're Encore, part of our Thousand Trails package. So we had to get another week somewhere. So we tried Fiesta and I'll tell you what, like probably do two weeks in Fiesta next year. Yeah. And it was definitely one of my top parks to be at. And of course the environment is going to make it that much better. Downside to a park that's like that is if it's a windy day in the Keys, you're gonna feel it because there is nothing stopping the wind from yeah. coming to you from the, the ocean or the Gulf side. Even with the wind, it was totally worth being there. Mm -hmm. So. I would definitely go back. All right, next thing that's up is Robbie's. We're gonna go feed some fish. Oh, yes. We get to have fun with the, if, with the fish. We hear if you're in the Florida Keys, you gotta go feed fish, uh, the tarpon. It's like the thing to do. Over at Robbie's. And we've been to the Keys twice before and we have never done it. So yeah. it's, everybody's yelling at us for not doing it. So we're gonna go do it. We're feeling the peer pressure. Yeah, we're going with friends. So yes. let's go check out Robbie's and feed some fish. Yes, I'm excited, let's go.
All right, where are we at? We're at Robbie's. Robbie's, and why are we here? Feed some fish. Feed the tarpon. Feed fish. <laughs> we have no clue what to expect. We've never been here, so we're nope. going to find out what it costs, what do you do, what we've, do they offer. We've been told it's a thing you have to do when you're down in the keys. It's a, it's a keys bucket list item, so we're going to go check off a bucket list item for the keys. Sweet. Let's go see some fish. Oh, and we're here with uh, Living Brave and Free. They're on Instagram. Check them out. Here's the, uh, the link to them. And then we're also here with the Second Chance Clan. Yep, and they're also on Instagram. Yep. So check them out as well. Two wonderful families yep. that have lots of kids and lots of age ranges. So if you have kids, they're really fun to hang out with. Yep. So check out their social media and yep. let's go. And the adults are cool too. Yeah. Let's go find out, <laughs> find some fish. Yeah. All right, what's your name? Uh, what's your. What's your handle? All right, so admission to feed the fish is $2.50 per person. And $4.50 per bucket. And she's telling us the bird's bite. Yeah, that's right. As long as you're not afraid of them, they won't be afraid of you. Well, I'm not, I hate them. No, use your hatred to I prefer to kick them off. Shoot. That's what you're feeding. What? No, use your hatred to keep them off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will punch no, you. All right, go for it. There's one underneath. Uh -huh. Get in there, Jay. I'm getting him footage. Come on. Take it. Take it. You're going to take it? I'm so terrified. I dropped it. I don't know where it went. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, this is pretty cool. This is awesome. Yeah. Big fish. Where's Savannah? Right here. Are you doing it? You're not? 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 You're That'd be a cool short. Okay, well that was quite an experience. <laughs> it's pretty cool. There's nerf sharks, there's tarpon, there's some other types of Tuna. Species. We saw tuna. We think we saw tuna. Yeah. They come up really quick, so it's really hard to really tell. Yeah. Um, so the tarp feeding the tarpons one thing, they will jump out of the water, so be prepared. Uh, the other thing is the pterodactyls will try to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a bucket in your hand, they come at you. The pelicans. They, they like dive from the top coming down and then they also swoop in from the bottom. So yeah. it's pretty neat. Um, the boat's getting ready to like slam into the other boat. Oh no. It's so windy. It's so windy. Um, but it is pretty fun. The kids were chasing the, the pelicans away while we tried feeding them. And then Harold found a trick with the GoPro. Yeah, the pelicans don't like the GoPro. I'm sure that's only until they get used to it, but it's not like, like running at them with it or anything. Just holding it in my hand, they kind of like. They don't know what to do with it. Don't look at me. <laughs> Like people with cameras. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, this was pretty cool. This is pretty fun. Yeah, it's two it's two fifty per person. Two fifty per person. Four fifty for a bucket of fish, which you get between four and eight fish, depending on the pounds yeah. of it, um, or five to eight, something like that. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, just be careful with it. Yeah, be careful because your hand is going to go in that fish's mouth if you're holding it too low. Yeah, there was like five ner nerf sharks. They were pretty cool. They were pretty cool. All right, add this to your list. Thank you so much for watching today's video and a special thank you to our Patreons listed right over here. Yes, without you guys, we could not do this. Um, if you have not considered joining yet, please do. Links down below. And our next video is recommended right below this one, so go check that out. Yes. 